The newest thing we're bringing to the show is uh, technology that a lot of the EMS operators have asked us for, and that's uh, wire protection. So we're naming it Wire Watch, and we're currently testing a database of over well over 20,000 transmission line towers in San Diego County and have flown it and are operating a demonstration video on the capabilities of that system. Now, where is this information coming from? We're working very closely with the utility companies. With cooperation from Semper Energy and Southern California Edison, we're slowly gaining access to this data. It has to be precisely accurate to be completely functional on our unit, so the source is very important. We're going to expand that across the United States over the coming months, and as we gain more data, we'll increase the database. That's just got to be a, a huge undertaking. It is not to be taken lightly. It is a monumental undertaking, and our founder and president has taken it on as a personal challenge. And we have a successful flying unit. The FAA has seen it, is just completely enamored with it. The U.S. military has, has shown huge interest in the helicopter TAWS, and this is just one more feature they've asked for also. We actually have to, at times, circle the wires to bring a person's attention to them, to even see them, because wires against terrain, for instance, they just disappear. You have no knowledge that they're there. So we're given warning. Actually, we're showing red or yellow cautions out to 20 miles on a wire line. You have plenty of warning. Uh, as you get closer, and if you intentionally or accidentally steer toward one, then it will caution you, and if you get dangerously close, it'll warn you. And it takes the segment of wire between two towers and flashes it. So you actually see the segment of wire that you potentially could impact. Now, you folks have taken a particularly unique leadership role in the whole TAWS program, I should say, which leads us to what I understand is another big piece of news for you. Yeah, we're very proud. Uh, we have signed an alliance. We're under contract with Rockwell Collins Corporation to design software embedded uh, H-TAWS or helicopter TAWS into their glass cockpits. Obviously, <laughs> that association means the world to us, and it's increased our credibility highly. And by the way, you know, that's one of a few very large announcements coming, but that's all we can talk about today. We're going to wait on a couple of them that are going to be press released first, but I think again right back to the EMS operators, we're highly specializing the product to their needs. And we've got some really fun advancements, safety advancements on our helicopter TAWs, which we've, we've absolutely had to rename Heli TAWs. We are not just H TAWs because we so far exceed the TSO, we had to rename the product. What was it that what brought you to the forefront of a very unique set of technologies? Okay, uh, that's pretty easy to answer actually. Sandell led the retrofit market in fixed wing TAWs for years. There's thousands of them installed. And for our little company to have products certified all the way up to a Boeing 747 is pretty remarkable. We led this technology. We found that in the later years, when the U.S. had pretty well fully complied with fixed wing TAWs, that our next best market became military and helicopters. It got us through a pretty rough economic period over the last two years, and it's been very good to us. So it was a natural progression to take fixed wing TAWs and apply it to a helicopter. We uh, basically threw the paper away and started over from scratch, and this is a completely new chassis design, hardware design, processor, everything involved. This is a product for helicopters, period. Where does it go from here? Federal government is extremely interested in our product for retrofits in their fleets of older helicopters. And there may be some very unique developments for the military that, like in the old days, you develop product for the military and it dribbles down into the civilian world. It can only get better. And that we can guarantee you. Aero TV is brought to you by the beauty of the Release 9 system architecture is that you have two fully redundant integrated flight displays. Each has access to all the systems and data. Providing full redundancy and eliminating traditional reversionary modes, Release 9 allows either display to be configured as the PFD. Now your failure modes are much more manageable because you can continue to fly with the same familiar display symbology without the need to relearn composite modes you don't typically fly with. 
Avidyne's Integra Release 9 is truly the next generation in fully integrated flight deck technology.